I made a giant bioactive enclosure. process of how I made this giant behemoth of a bioactive for my super dwarf reticulate python aries. Um, not gonna lie, fair warning, I get kind of whiny throughout this process. I hate painting with silicone. It's just, it's messy and it smells bad. So yeah, <laughs> off we go. <laughs> The day after I finished spray filming this background, I tried carving out some of it last night, but it wasn't completely cured yet, especially this deep stuff. Um, so definitely needs at least 40 or 40 hours, at least 24 hours to cure all the way, especially when it's this yuck. So yeah, we're gonna get carving into this and see how far we get today. So this is the almost finished background, this giant enclosure. I did wind up using a Dremel tool to kind of get that, I wanted to have almost like wood bark texture. So we'll see if that comes through after it's all done. And then sandpaper for kind of sanding out stone. Now this was super um, deep, deep. <laughs> um, so it actually hadn't dried all the way when I was carving it. So it's now completely dried and I'm gonna do something with that. But. You know, having lots of different textures and stuff, not a bad thing, because it makes it more interesting for the snake. It helps with sheds and all that stuff. So the next step for this is grabbing some silicone and painting it and then putting substrate on the silicone before it dries. So yeah, let's uh, get started with that. All right, so I have 10 things of silicone paint. These are gray, these are brown. I have a caulk gun, food pet, prep gloves and some, uh, what do you call this? Paintbrushes to help get the stuff on the stuff. So silicone is the devil. I hate painting with it. I was complaining and whining and upset all day yesterday because I could not <laughs> get it figured out. So I didn't record any of it. A bit of information that might be helpful. These are two different brands of 100% silicone. This one smells, but it the smell dissipates really, really quickly. This one smells so much worse and the smell sticks around way longer. So, this one, yes. This one, this is what we're at. So, you can see some of the orange, great stuff peeping through in some of the spots. Um, this is just extra substrate that fell, but I'm gonna touch up the little spots that the orange is showing and continue on. Haha, so this is this is kind of tough because I didn't build out the side of this background. So any of the silicone that got on along this way, I need to clean up. Razor blade doesn't work really well, but what does work really well is a paint scraper. So this is just cleaning it up super quick and easy. So yeah, little uh little tip. So I am definitely kind of on that edge of is this really worth it or not? Um, I tend to get a little frustrated halfway through projects because either they're not going the way I want to or this particular one, it just, it needed so much more material than I was assuming it would, which was silly of me because it's a huge enclosure. But yeah, I mean, kind of that cost benefit analysis right now is like, eh, don't know if it was really worth the effort. I'm sure once I get a little bit further along and get it looking more how I'm hoping it will look, I'll feel a little feel a little better about it. All right, now that the background is all laid out and done, I'm about to start the fun part, which is kind of getting it all together to see the final outcome. Uh, it is really hard to find bulk Lika right now, which are like the hydro balls. So a good alternative to that is lava rock, which like something like Lowe's carries. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna add to this enclosure, it's gonna be super heavy regardless. So this is a little bit heavier than Lika, not by much. Um, so yeah, let's get this guy all filled up. Plus I too love a rock is it doesn't take as much to fill up. So that was like three of the 
bags that I found at Lowe's. And because they're bigger, they uh, obviously take up more space. So yeah, good, uh, good alternative to Lika if you're looking for one. All right, so substrate barrier is in. This is just a screen door covering. Um, it's the one of the ones that doesn't mold. It's not the metal one because those get pokey, but it's a material that just it doesn't rot. Um, it's waterproof and, and all that stuff. So, all right. So next up is adding the soil and my favorite part, which is planting all of the plants. I did. This is probably my favorite part. I made a little kind of plant holder <laughs> up in the top right corner. So we'll see if that does the trick. The biggest challenge that I will run into for this build is it's for a retic. So trying to find things that will, you know, not die. All right, substrate's all in there. Hopefully I got the rest of the great stuff covered up with silicone. It's just little pieces keep on popping up, so it feels like a never ending task. But now that I think I've accomplished that, we are going to lay out, like get all the rest of the cork bark in here, all the decor, and plant the plants. My favorite part. Quick plant tour from someone who knows nothing about plants. That is a red something. It's a tropical succulent that starts with a K. Cool. Snake plant. Snake plant. Snake plant, also known as Cesarus Veseri, right? Yeah? Hartley Philodendron, I do know that one. And another one up there. These guys are really hardy, knock on wood. Um, oh, wood, <laughs> like where's all the wood? Knock on wood. So yeah, we'll see uh, what survives. It's a little, it's a little sparse plant-wise in here, but not too bad, honestly. And uh, yeah, I will add things as I find out what works well for how he utilizes the space. All right, so it is done. I'm actually pretty pleased with how it came out. The plants that I got went a lot further than I thought they were going to. That snake plant was like, I could get it into three different places. So yay for giant snake plants. Um, I have a little pop of color with this plant. Um, I don't know plants that well, but when all is said and done, it's yes, you can go out and buy backgrounds and that's absolutely okay. I would definitely probably purchase a pre-made background for something this size in the future, but um, when you do it yourself, nothing's gonna look the same. So it's not gonna look like what anybody else has for the most part. Um, so yeah, this is it for now. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I think if I had the skill, I would love to do like a waterfall into, cause his water dish is gonna go right here. Um, but that's a skill to tackle for a different day. <laughs> Things that I would do differently next time if, if I ever decide to do this again. So I would put like pumice stones or something, use something different texture that's still light enough or it wouldn't break the cork bark shelf. Um, but it would be a little less spray foam that way, a little less silicone paint and offer a little bit of varying like texture. And I also think it would just look kind of cool. So that would be one thing I would change. Another thing I would change is adding more cork bark pieces to the actual background. So I only have two pieces, one there and one there. Everything else is spray foam. And again, it's just, it results in a lot of spray foam and a lot of silicone paint. So just to save a little bit of time, I think next time I would like, I should have added that big piece to the background. But you know, it is what it is. All right, so it's actually several days later. Aries is still not in this enclosure because it still smells like it's curing, like the uh, silicone is still curing. So little, little note, if you're using especially the DAP brand silicone, 100% silicone, it's still safe, but not yet because it still has that chemically like vinegary smell. So still gotta wait to put them in here. Really? Always remind me of having a rave. Just because they're moving around so much? Yeah. It's, 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 it's. Again. I mean, a lot more than you. Wee! It's raining, I suppose. Oh, yeah, it's raining, I suppose. Let's 
see if I can capture them on video. They're so tiny. Yeah, good luck. Here I, have, actually, I literally have to scoop them up. And just wait for some movement. Be like, is that you? Did you with somebody? Yes. Check it out. It's your old home, do you believe it? It's like cribs for snakes.